Hello everyone. I pray you are doing well. I pray that you are blessed. I pray things are going your way that are righteous. Not bad, but righteous. Okay. It is important for everyone to go by the rules of God. Even if there is an enemy doing wrong to you. And I believe the Bible clearly states that in so many words. Maybe not in the exact words I am saying, but in that idea. Look at this. I think so many of us are different in some ways. So if we are different in some ways, I believe there will be ignorance confusion um misunderstandings uh perhaps you interpreted something someone said the wrong way i think there are so many things that can really perhaps disrupt communication or and then also about your enemy or about you maybe when you was raised this and that happened to you so because of that bad thing you have it in your mind that, for an example, I'm not saying exactly you, but, you know, let me say you to illustrate my point. Because you went through bad times, you have it in your mind to do particular things that you think is okay, but it's not okay. For instance, Jimmy has been hurt so much. So what Jimmy does, I can't really think of a good example, but what Jimmy does, Jimmy does something he thinks that will help him to not continue getting hurt by people, but at the same time, the thing that he does hurts other people. So I believe there are so many differences among us, if I am saying that right. I think we are very different in some ways. Okay. And yes, I believe sometimes some people know they are doing wrong. I'm not talking about that category right now. At least I don't think so. I am talking about the category of people who think they are doing right, but they are doing wrong. So, if you think you are doing right, and let me use myself as the example. If I think I am doing right, and if my enemy believes they are doing right, what can you do? Shall I yell at my enemy? Shall I uh shake them up shall i fight 
my enemy to show that person they are wrong. No. In cases as these, I believe you have to pray, perhaps fast. In essence, seek God to straighten things out. I believe there are so many different things. I believe we are different in so many ways. I think all of us are so different in so many ways. Maybe there are some things that are similar, but I believe we are different in so many ways. This is one of the reasons why it is important to go by the rules of the Bible. The rules which apply to us. Because as if you read the Old Testament, some of those rules don't apply to us. Some. You must go by the rules of the Bible. Because if, if I am like, well, this person is not treating me right, so I am not going to treat that person right, what is that going to do? I believe that is going to increase the confusion, increase the problem, increase whatever bad thing is going on at that time. If there is miscommunication between me and another person, I believe a way that can lessen the problem is by at least one person choosing to go by the Bible. My enemy may think he or she, my enemy may think, yeah, my enemy may think he or she is right. They may believe the evil they are doing is not evil. They may believe the evil they are doing is okay. So if my enemy is convinced the evil they are doing is righteous, what can I say? What can I do? Must I fight that person to prove to that person they are wrong? Must I try to make myself like, must I insult that person to show them the error of their ways? What is that going to do? Listen, now, I keep saying this. I believe we are different in so many ways. Some things may be the same, I guess, or similar, I guess but I believe we are different in so many ways. I think many of us may be in ignorance about something. I know I don't know everything. You probably, or you don't know everything. So if I don't know everything and you don't know everything, is it possible in a, in a conflict that we are wrong? Is it possible? Is it possible that I can be doing something wrong, but not even know it? Is it possible that you can be doing something wrong, but not even know it? While you are pointing the finger at your enemy, can it be that you are the problem? Please listen to what I am saying. This is why I am saying what lessens the confusion, lessens the problems, is if you choose, it, it would be very good for both sides to do it, 
to go by what you know of the Bible and do it. Let's say I am the biggest devil in the world. And let's say I am causing you so much, whatever, causing you so much headache, strife or whatever. According to the Bible, you still have to treat me right. Even if I come to your house and burn down your house, burn down your car, burn down your lawn, burn down your toys, burn down your Pokemon cars, even if I burn down all that you have, please listen to what I am saying, you still have to treat me right. Just because I am evil to you don't mean you don't have to go by the Bible in the way you treat me. Uh, some people may think, depending on what you do, I don't have to treat you right. If you insult me in a particular way, I don't have to do right by you. I don't have to respect you. I don't have to be nice to you. But at the same time, I can still call myself Christian even though I am doing wrong back to you in response of what you did to me. I believe, oh, I am saying so much here. I hope you are following what I am saying. Are we the type of people when we think we are right, we don't want to be quick to forgive? Like for instance, let's say I am that way. Let's say um, I think I am right. And because you wronged me, I don't want to forgive you too quick. I want to make you pay. You, you bad person, you. I want to make you pay or I want to suffer you. What is a good word? Let's say I am the type of person that think I am right or let's say that I think I am right. Because I believe you have wronged me, I feel like I should not forgive you fast. I should not, but let's say I thought I, thought I was right, but later I found out I was wrong. Now that I know I am wrong, I want you to forgive me very quickly, but which is strange because when I thought I was right, I did not want to forgive you quickly. Are we that way? Isn't that being a hypocrite? Isn't it? We should not want to be that way. Not saying that we do everything right, but we should not be that way. What you expect of others, shouldn't we expect that of ourselves? I believe there will be difference in opinions and some op opinions may not be right. So even if a person chooses to do you wrong, make sure you treat that person with respect. Now, that person may say, well, you are not treating me with respect either. Let God be the judge. If you believe you are doing something right and your enemy believes you are doing something wrong, continue doing what you think is right. Pray about it, perhaps fast, and I believe God will sort things out. What can you really say if both parties believe they are right? What can you say? Shall I argue with you for 20 minutes trying to prove to you you are wrong? 
and perhaps making the problem bigger. This is where we need to learn to shut our mouths and open our mouths in prayer. Or you can pray in your mind as well, which I do. So shut your mouth to your enemy and open your mouth in prayer. Because I think there are times where your words are not really going to reach the other person. Why stress yourself out more than, well, not saying you should stress yourself out, but why place more stress upon yourself than you should, which you should not do it at all, if that makes any sense to you. So go by the rules of the Bible when it comes down to your enemy, because I believe we are going to reap what we sow. I think I am right. My enemy believes they are right. God is going to be the one who will sort things out. But make sure that you are not the one that is doing the wrongdoing. Because I believe we are going to reap what we sow. Now, I may not be able to avenge myself, as in get even with my enemy, but I believe God will do it. So I don't have to dirty my hands by trying to get back at my enemy. I don't have to do that. All I have to do is what? Do what is right. Treat my enemy with respect. Am I saying I have to bring my enemy over for tea? No. Am I saying I have to invite my enemy over my place for donuts? No. I have to treat my enemy with respect. I have to do that person right, whether that person is evil or good, if that makes any sense. Good as in, I believe the Bible said no one is good but God or something like that. But um, you know what I mean by good. Hopefully you do. Let me change the word then. Even if the person is doing right or wrong, I have to treat that person right. Does this make any sense to you? Doing wrong to a person that has wronged you doesn't make your wrong right. All that is going to happen, I believe, your enemy will pay and you are going to pay. I believe so. So if someone is doing wrong to you, try to talk things out. If that doesn't work, if you have to cry out to God, sometimes I do that. But give your burdens over to God. I don't think there is any sense in carrying your own, your own burdens as in trying to keep everything to yourself to where you are not willing to <clears throat> ask God for help or to express yourself to God about what is happening. I believe whether our enemies are doing right or wrong, I truly believe that our enemies are a help to us. And you may say, Kevin, you are speaking nonsense. You are lying. What are you talking about now? I believe some, I believe many of your enemies are necessary for you. I truly believe so. Because I believe through 
the hardships you may receive from your enemy, I think if you endure it the right way or take the necessary steps according to the Bible, I believe you will become a better person. So through the hardships they may place upon you, if you go by the rules of the Bible, when you deal with that person, I believe you will elevate higher in Jesus Christ. I truly believe so. As in, become better as a person. Have more, have become less of yourself and more of Jesus Christ, which this is what we need to do. So in, in a sense, if you do it right, I believe your enemies will help you elevate. Let me stop here. God bless you all.